Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saik and today we're continuing and celebrating the 50s uh, installment of the blind playthrough Legendary Difficulty Grandmaster Mode Enabled. It's time for us uh, to continue a massive spreading. Uh, danger level is severe here. We're getting a yellow spawns, plenty thereof, and all we need to do is destroy a bloom spreader without taking critical injuries, so that should not be a problem. Uh, same equipment as the last time, this time with a disruptor skull. Got a nice little extractor skull because we want a lot of seeds, and extractors have been good so far. Double grenade whammy jammy on zero chance, uh, which is fantastic. And we got uh, Ubuntu Storm uh, with uh, the Hailer Skulls, as well as our Bolter with 5 ammunition for ultimate uh, support fire. And that's really what we're going to do. We're in for a treat. A couple of uh, these guys already have upgraded armors as well. So that's good. Uh, plus, let's see what type of loot we're getting. Off we go for the Emperor. Our prognostic is augured an imminent threat below. I can sense it already. The Bloomspawn here has grown and is ready to expel its seeds. We must act quickly. We certainly must act quickly. Bloomspawn over there. Bloomspawn over there. Bloom spawn over there and the spreader and the spreader over there. Moving now. More horrors invade our realm. Alright, so we're going to trigger that in due time. I am here to serve. There and moves to here. With you. I am wondering uh, because listen, uh, we don't have that many gates of. Uh, we do have quite a bit of gates of infinity. Have no disadvantage for just coming in close here. And there you go. The praise the plague lord. Oh yeah, praise the pla uh, plague lord. It is. Carry it to them. Permission to engage, Commander. Wow. A lot of seeds here. Okay, I stand by the way very much corrected that mutations are... Well, yeah, it's still not that much. Anyways, they've given themselves a lot of buffs. Give me those sweet, sweet seats. Another foul seed claimed. Extract the scroll's best thing. This is coming with me. Another seed. All right, the other one is crack grenade. Just removes all of the armor here. Death to the enemy. <laughs> Taste oh, my come fury. on, really? Let's make them vulnerable. A couple of them are, a couple of them aren't. My blade is that whole thing here is uncool. I don't like burning. And of course this time we don't have the purge. Praise the Emperor. What is your will? 
Moves on. Let's see. So. This here. Can lead to a nice psychic uh, onslaught. There's only so much we can do about it. Seek and destroy, brother. Ready to serve. Um. Hmm. Out of curiosity. Precision bombardment. Look at that. It's a big zone. We'll keep it for a little bit later. For now, we're reloading. And since this is too good to not take it, this is how you kill almost all of them in one go. Your course will fertilize this garden. The Emperor lights up on. Hit this thing. Hit. Nice little strike. And this is a perfect uh, timing to use our disruptor skull for that free six points of damage. Very nice. Yes, Commander. I hate the burning. Three rounds, two damage per turn. I am here to serve. I serve. Here. Oh, we've triggered it already. Oh, that's not good. Well, in which case... Teleporting up. And it is just a tree, right? Yeah, it is just that tree. Just double checking what. Uh, can we ammo break in precision damage? No, it's just plus two damage, that's it. Um, yeah, vulnerability really doesn't do a whole lot. Very nice damage. At your command. Oh, 
Ready to Wrong serve. guy. Um, yes, Commander. Moving now. Yeah! Cool. Um, there's another bloom spawn over there. Praise the Emperor. We have purified this place. I sir. More seats. Yeah, I mean, we can get almost over there. We're Moving up, we're just going to accept the warp uh, charge. to remove uh, the cover here. Need to remove the cover there. Wow, wonderful. It's getting better and better. Okay, let's start with extracting seats. I pulled a seed from this rock. This is coming with me. Uh, if... Yeah, this here could work. Oh, wait, it's a knockback. Oh, wait, it's a knockback. Um, good, let's first get rid of the stupid armor. We bring death. These guys are also burning. That's perfect. Now, next up, all of you become vulnerable. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. And next up. Next up, we're hitting this massive, massive AOE. Decision bombardment.
that pushes them forward again. Just need to find the right place. I know how we can do it. In an instant. Precisione bombardement. Well, it's good. It's a decent uh, amount of damage. Is it worth stratagem? Potentially not, but if you need AOE damage and knockback, I could see how it is not too bad. Great free reload. I love it. Not enough will points. Ooh, okay. Good, let's get the three kills. I am the wrath of Zyphos. Unfortunately, our AOE damage hasn't killed off everyone. No match for the Emperor's Chosen. I am the wrath of Zyphos! Good, listen. Just hand over Will Pines to there. Kill him. I am the wrath of Zypos. Push this guy to there. I aim true. Let him walk into the fire whilst being enraged. It will be done. And we can't kill all of the outer uh, resurrections. Some of them will come through. Pain it's a bit stupid pain. that he can immediately attack. Yeah. 
The Emperor lights our path. Here. All right, let's start. One, support fire. Two. No match for the Emperor's Chosen. Boom spawn is over there. And the spreader is back there. Um, Both a match. Almost yes, considering to go directly to the bloom spreader. We bring death. Enemies destroyed. Almost considering to go directly to the bloom spreader. Let's move up. I am with you. How many seed extractions do we have left? Zero. Yeah, so we can we can very much go there. Good burning almost done. That's not a problem. Now heal. There you go. Everybody is fine. On the way. Pure among impurity. Don't want to risk losing too many uh, action points by teleporting in. If we do it outside of combat, yep, we're essentially, uh, we're essentially uh, keeping our AP. Monolithic bloom spawn reached. Converging enemies detected. We cannot let it pollinate nearby systems. It must be stopped now. I know. We're already on it. We're already on it, Bone man. Spotted. We are already on it. So. How about this nice grenade? To remove armor. Hmm? I think that's a good idea. How about then following up with another nice grenade to deal damage? Seven damage, and if we fire, that'll be more damage. So, curse it! Cannot focus at your command. All right. Um, let's continue to do that thing. Down to twelve. It's almost dead. Praise the Emperor. So this into that. 
Another one down. Gives us more seats. My blade is ever ready. Strike four. Maybe we're even getting yet another seat. We're going to see about it. 24 hit points, 24. These guys are strong. But we do have disruptor skulls, not only disrupting their melee parry ability, but also dealing damage. So maybe more seats for us uh, at the end of the day. Yeah. One. Two. And thankfully we've upgraded that uh, warp strike damage. I am here to serve. Good, let's give our give Epi the option to kill something for once. Yes. Another vile edifice of corruption falls. Well done, Commander. Yeah, I think that was overall well done. The gateways, of course, are very, very helpful. Any form of teleportation really is. Good. Two requisition. Lots of servitors and let's see. We got red grenade. That's the bleed grenade. I don't think that that is worth it. But what is uh, is it worth uh, to have Covenant of the Ages? Uh, that would be seven armor. Hmm. Okay. Well, seven base armor. You cannot argue with that, really. We have a lot of uh, people that are wearing uh, Terminator armor and just having like seven base armor is crazy and 15 resistance on top. It's good. What else do we have? I don't uh, think we should waste any time on this. Uh, affliction, yeah, that's fine. Good. Here we do have a six ammunition bolter. That's not bad, because uh, support fire it does ignore the normal damage of the weapon, and you just need a lot of ammunition. So I think I'm just going to take that one. Look at that. All right, we're switching to Psy Cannon, although I really like uh, his um, his melee weapon. <clears throat> and I think we're just going to upgrade that Aegis. That's good. Purgator. Uh, yeah, we got Astral Aim. I haven't really used it a whole lot. This, however, is a good ability, that extra crit. I think we should definitely go for that more often. Because Astral Aim with another uh, one damage, that is great. I like it. Vespinator, really happy with the heavy gun that he's uh, that he's ro uh, rocking, and we're now finally go uh, getting that extra war gear.
a little bit more Psy Borger damage, and then we're going to go up there. The team is coming together nicely, so I might say. Uh, I'm still struggling like minor on the on on the equipment uh, side because we have so many really nice items as equipment but i think we're okay that whole explode everything and have a great day um, approach works very well so for starters melee weapon i would like to upgrade his halberd Uh, in terms of armors, anything, that new armor seems absolutely legit. Seven armor, oh, that's, that's nasty. Uh, but I think we're still sticking with the will point uh, type of armor. Good, in terms of bolters, that's the new bolter, uh, and that bolter should be equipped by our support fire guy. Um, where do we have him, Ubuntu? Storm. Six ammunition. Love to see it. Good in terms of armor. We're fine. Uh, we haven't taken any melee weapons. I think. We're okay. Zebes. Loadout, ranged weapon. That's fully upgraded. That's fully upgraded. What am I missing? We had a few arm, a uh, few uh, items. I think it was melee weapons mainly. I'll go. So this is upgraded, this here needs red, I get it, no falcons, this one is upgraded, this one is upgraded, and I'm quite happy that we upgraded it fully. Could use another, um, another Narcathium, uh, to be honest, we ha don't have a great one so far, but it'll come over time. My biggest problem here is level 5 bloom spread and we can't reach it. We can reach this one here though. And we should not simply give up but instead just fly there. I'm happy that we stopped that mass spreading event down here. Commander, my research is being hampered by faulty terminals in the Libris. I have submitted multiple unanswered maintenance. Analysis indicates Libris terminals are operating at 2% of our minimum operational thresholds. Preliminary assessment determined the malfunction originated from direct physical trauma. The Inquisitor was informed. You accused me of sabotaging my own equipment. Evidence. Ongoing correspondence has included escalating overtures on violence against my acolytes. I will do far worse than that if this does not get resolved soon. Fine, but they had better not damage it further. 
Wonderful. Just straight up losing four servitors. Commander, I have returned from my investigation into the attack on the Inquisitorial Research Expedition. All right, we're continuing to research 25 days in progress. That's good. This year, unfortunately, we're missing a seat. So I need to be mindful that we get more Tenaro seats. Uh, we can't get them here, but yeah, we, we will need to get them sooner uh, than later because otherwise the whole research is stalled. Good, get a Grimoire here, get three requisition, and what can we theoretically get? Um, we could get an Ar uh, Nor Athecium. I talked about it. I don't know. I mean, a version two is maybe better than a version three. And we can get normal power armor. So, sure, there is there's potential here, but maybe we're just uh, collecting three requisition uh, that is also possible i'm still unhappy with how the ship overall looks like five more days and then we finally have upgraded the speed that is good that is definitely not bad and then we need to go into the uh, ojorium to get the prognostic cars uh, back online and then we potentially need to uh, get ourselves more warp shields so that we're at three out of five. I haven't even started gun, gun batteries or the exterminators to be um, precise. Understanding the difference, really. One use, one use. This is 18 servitors in 27 days, and this here is 20 servitors. Like, that's two servitors, but I. Okay, whatever. Uh, game doesn't need to make sense from time to time. If this is like eight servitors versus 20, you know, it would be kind of a trade off, but well, that makes sense. Good. Gun batteries are certainly something that is also making sense with all of the fleets around, but first we're going to go for Void Shields, uh, after the Ojorium of course. Don't need Wound Recovery Speed, that's fine. I have no idea what that uh, does, but uh, since uh, the Stasis Chamber was such a da Debbie Downer, uh, we don't really need uh, the uh, XP as bad at the moment. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is I need to keep uh, the ship stable. So we're going into Ajorium and then continue Void Shields to maximum. Start working on the gun batteries. And once we take another one uh, or two points of hull damage, then I would uh, repair it so that we're back to six hull, which seems to be the max. Um, if we get higher gun batteries, that isn't bad at all, because uh, capabilities in direct ship-to-ship -ship con uh, con uh, confrontations damage to the edict is based on its gun batteries level relative to the enemies can't be increased by upgrading the gun. Uh, yeah, can be increased. So basically, if we're getting gun battery two, three, and four. Uh, what that means is we're taking less hull damage because we're just destroying those stupid chaos um, marines before they can reach us. That's all I had for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Next time we're going to continue on Legata. Have a great one. And as always, hail the Emperor and cleanse the like button. Bye-bye.